last stage, uh, the last step of our entire workflow creation. So um, we already have our form, we have our landing page, and we also have our email. So I'm now in automation and workflow. I'll go to create workflows. I'll go to the start from scratch, contact paste, and then I'll create a welcome workflow. I'm starting from scratch. There are other options also available. Since I am doing it for a contact, so it has to be a contact based. I'll then go to next. So this is an important step where we have to set the trigger. Exactly what do we want to capture as a trigger which will send an email, a welcome email. So for this we'll actually have to use our form. So the form is the right trigger for this particular case, use case that we have. So out of all these options, when I'm trying to set enrollment trigger, I'll choose not the contact properties or company or the other activity. I'll look for form submissions because this is what I want to do. I want to capture the form submissions. So these are the three options I have. Uh, all demo accounts. Let's go to the welcome email form which we have created. And contact has filled up the form. So we have two options here on any page or specifically that particular landing page. So one form can be embedded into multiple pages. So right now we'll say no, we want only that welcome page. And then we will say apply the filter and we'll save it. So now the trigger is set. The next step is exactly what we want this trigger to do. We want to send an email. So the moment I click on send email, it shows me the email which I had saved for automation. This is the one, email, just select it and just say save. That's it. That is all we have to do to send a email from HubSpot workflow as welcome email. In addition to this, if you want, and as a bonus tip, I can let you know about certain other things. Like for example, if you want to capture if somebody has opened the email or clicked an email or not. So here is the step to do that. Number one, we'll go to delay. We will look at one day delay. Okay, so what I'm what we are telling the workflow is that wait for one day and check if people have opened or clicked your email or not. And then do what? Then we will go to the if and then branch. It is selected. What do we want to really check in the if, if and then branch? That'll be click or open email. So these are three options is showing me marketing emails, I choose welcome email. Out of these, I have these options of if somebody has contact, has opened an email, I can apply the filter and save it. So the moment I do this, uh, here it is. This is an option, it gives me two options, yes and no. So what happens if they have opened an email? That will go to the yes. What happens if they have not opened an email? So maybe we can set up another steps series of triggers here, series of, you know, mails here, or maybe some kind of follow-up calls. So this is what it is. And uh, in order to save it, we just have to go to the settings. We just don't have to touch anything else. Everything remains the same, right? And uh, even the history, you don't have to do and have anything in the, in the history. It will say review. So when we review it, this is an important step. Who do you really want to send it to? Do you want it to send it to new people? Or existing one so it makes more sense to send this to uh, and the new one not the existing one so you will say okay no only enroll contacts who meet the trigger criteria after turning the workflow on that is it nothing else to be done turn it on and just wait for its magic to happen right now we have not said anything here as well so maybe I'll, I would delete it I would delete this action and then I would also delete this action and I'll just keep it only till here welcome email form submission on welcome form template and then sending of a welcome email that is all that is required in this particular workflow.